Hello everyone, my name is Peter Cameron. I'm a National Geographic Certification Education Mentor and today I'm going to share how to create a Google My Map using Google Forms and Sheets. So just to give me an idea of what we're trying to create, this is a map, a My Map, of all of the National Geographic Certification Leads and Mentors. So what we wanted to do was have a map that would be able to show basically where everybody is located within our community of mentors and also provide some information on the map, kind of an easy to share format. So what we have here is pins of all of our mentors with some specific information that we wanted to share. So such as our, our home city, our Twitter handle if we had one, and a link to a blog or website. So how do we do it? We start by creating a Google form. So what you want to do is go into Google Drive, go to New, and More, if it's not showing as Google Forms. And obviously in Google Forms, you want to give your form a title. We'll just title ours Test. And you can add a description if you'd like. Obviously, I would say the first uh, question that you want to have is, to have the people provide their name for you. Okay, typically that will be the title of the pin as well. Let's add a new question, simply add, and typically I like to have people write their location as the second option. You can add in more information if you'd like. Um, so location typically would be the city. However, just a note, if you anticipate having more, one or more responses or more than one response from a particular city, you might want to ask for uh, more specific information such as a street address because if you just provide the city, only one pin will show for the city. All right. And then again, any other pertinent information that you might want to have um, your community members share on that map. So perhaps a Twitter handle. All right, and it should default to your short answer. All right, when you've created your form and you're ready to push that out, what you want to do is go to send. But just a note, you might want to go to your settings if you're working within a certain domain. Uh, make sure you have not restricted um, the users to a only filling out a form such as if you're only with my school board um, that will be clicked you want to deselect that and go ahead and save now you can go ahead and grab the link to this google form shorten it if you wish copy and paste it and then push it out however you'd like via twitter or email so i'll go ahead and copy that and email myself so I've emailed myself the link to uh, the Google Form. So I've clicked on the link and up will pop the Google Form that I've created for my community members to fill in. All right, you can see that I have the edit option. You will as well, but um, the people that you've sent this to won't unless you've shared um, the link with them to edit. All right, so they'll go ahead and fill in the form. First name and last, location, remembering to provide more specific information if you anticipate more than one person from a city, and then a Twitter handle, and whatever other information that you might want to have the people uh, submit. Okay, so I'm going to head, go ahead and submit. And then what I usually do is wait a few day, days for people to, to fill in the form. You might want to provide a deadline for them so you're not always having to go back and import new data into the form to create your map. So when you're ready, you're going to find the form that you created in your Google Drive. You should see that you'll have many responses or Hopefully, if the people have filled out their form, the number of responses that you're hoping for, if you have 10 people in your community, you're looking for 10 responses. 
So you go to responses. Importantly, click on the create spreadsheet tab and go ahead and create that. And you will then find the responses within a Google Sheet. All right, so the next step would be to go to Google My Maps and you want to create a new map. All right, you're gonna create your map. And again, we'll title it however you wish. In my case, we'll just call it test. You can add a description if you want. And then simply what you're going to do is import the information from the Google Sheet. You're going to go to Google Drive. It's going to be recent. You're going to find the responses in your Google Sheets. First thing you're going to do is select um, the location where you would like the pin to be established on the map. And second is how you would like the pin to be titled. In this case, it's typically the name. And I'll press finish and what you're going to see is all the information from the Google Sheet populated onto the map. In my case, you're only going to see one pin because only I have filled in the pin. All right. So you can see the information that I've provided in the Google form. We have the location and uh, Twitter at Twitter handle and my name. Okay, and finally, as you get in more information and you want to repopulate the uh, Google map, you're simply just going to go to add a layer and import, and you're going to go ahead and re-import that Google Sheet, information from the Google Sheet. So again, that is my workflow for creating a Google map using Google Forms and Sheets.